In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six square options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first square comes, you can see here I've given kind of a folded look and then you can add the icon here and the detailed text along with the option number and the title here. And on my next click, it will show the option two with different color combination, three, four, five and six. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the rectangle, select the rectangle just click it so one uh, square shape has been created increase the height and width to 1.85 or depending on the uh, requirement you can set the size and align center align middle and shape outline make it no outline and you can give a little bit less curve you can just drag this orange point and then I'm going to duplicate this, press Ctrl D and I'm going to cut only the half part of that. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here covering only the bottom part of the rectangle. So I'm just going to select this, hold the shift key, select the rectangle, merge shape and just say intersect. So you end up getting a shape, something like this. Now. I'm going to give two different colors uh, for this. So right mouse click, go to format shape and you can choose any good colors. You can see here you've got different color combinations. Maybe I can just select this color and here I'm going to select somewhat darker color than that. So I'm going to select this. I can go to customs and increase the shade here. You can see here and click OK and then just put it here. So let me just remove the guide so it looks uh, affect something like this you can see here and now i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it and ctrl d to duplicate hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit you can see here a little bit reduce the size something like this and this color i'm going to give maybe a white and here i'm going to give the light gray color here you can see here, so it looks like this, a 3D effect, and then just put it exactly in the center. So it looks like this, kind of. If you want to increase the size of this also, you can slowly increase by holding the shift key again, and then make sure to align center, align middle. So you end up getting something like this. Now, once this is done, uh, you can give some shadow effect. Go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it black increase the transparency to 60 or 70 percent then go to effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here like this and then just put it here and then send this to back and again press ctrl d add the other side also can see here and again this also sent to back if you want to give more darker color also here so that you can give you can go to more colors and you can just increase the shade a little bit so it gives a more kind of a this folded look so let me just enable the guides once again i'm going to select all of these press ctrl g to group it and then just move it here you can see here how much you need you can just add it as per your requirement press ctrl d maybe this is my second option press ctrl d this is my third option so i don't have the space so i have to just move this up so that it can accommodate within the slide and then press ctrl d to duplicate and add two more here and then it's time to change the colors depending on your requirement. So one side, one uh, side you have to make it somewhat light. The other side, the bottom side, you have to make it dark. So I'm just going to give some, maybe some dark color like orange. And here I'm going to give more orange now, or more, sorry, darker orange. I can just select here and just increase the size a little bit. So you can see here, 
if you still want to have more darker color maybe i can just select this also so it looks something like this so it depends how you want to choose the color again for this maybe i want to give this uh, light color here and then i want to give for this the darker color you can see here so like this you can just change the colors for the the rest of the options and once this is done if you are using the latest version you can go to insert icons and depending on your requirement you can just uh, add the icons as per your choice click insert i'm just going to bring this here and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 only and the color i'm going to give some more a gray color and then start adding one by one on these options so you can see here something like this so the next thing is to add the details so go to insert shapes i'm going to add one more shape which is this one the arrow chevron small arrow you can draw it shape outline make it no outline if you want to add it black or gray or whichever color then go to rotate and i can just you can see here i can flip horizontal and then just add it here and then go to insert text you can add your title add your title again century gothic or any good font you can choose if you want you can make it bold and then you can add the detailed text here let me just reduce the size you can see here and i'm going to right align both of this so that i can just put it like this here you can see here then i can just select all this three or if you want you can just first align this one so that it is exactly in the center select both or three of this control d to duplicate then start adding one by one option you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned again press control d add the other side i'm just going to bring this here and go to format i can just again flip horizontal just add it here and make sure that it is aligned properly so this one i'm going to align left and this also align left and then add it here select this also control d again last one control d you can see here something like this you can do now if you want to change the color as per this one that also can be done